Hello electronic friends. Welcome to this new video. In this video we will learn how to use the 0.96 inch OLED screen to display text and an analog signal obtained from our Arduino Nano. For this video we will use an Arduino Nano. A small 400 point breadboard. A 0.96 inch OLED screen. This is what it looks like. It comes in this little box to protect itself. It has four pins, two for power and two for communication, which uses I2C communication. An enhancer. A 5K potentiometer, you can use any value, no problem. Seven male male Arduino connection jumper cables. Four are to connect the OLED to the Arduino, and three are to connect the potentiometer to our Arduino. Finally, a cable to upload our program. Now we are going to go to the Arduino software and we are going to write this code that I will be leaving in the description of the video. For this code to work, you have to install some libraries. For this we are going to go to the library manager, which would be here. If this banner does not appear, you will simply go to sketch and include libraries. Okay, they are going to library manager. And there it will appear. In my case since it was already open, it just disappeared. But now I open it again. This would be the manager. Libraries, where we are going to install the library. The first library that I am going to install is going to be Adafruit SSD. Let's see, separated. Adafruit SSD 1306, which would be the code for our OLED screen. I already have it installed. But I'm going to reinstall it so you can see it. Normally, when you install this library, this appears, which is the installation of the dependencies, which are like other libraries that this library also uses to make them work. So, let's install all the dependencies. Here they put you in place to install everything, so that they don't have to install it later. But if it doesn't appear, then we install it manually, no problem. We wait for the library to be installed. Ready, you have just installed the library. You wouldn't have to install anything else because the dependencies have been installed. But if it doesn't appear, they simply leave and type Adafruit again. And in this case, they are going to write JFX. And here it is, this would be the bookstore. I'm going to install it because nothing happens if I install it again. They install their dependencies, everything necessary. Ready, once you have those libraries installed, you can get out of here. And they compile the program, in verify. We verify that our program does not have any errors. This means that the libraries are installed correctly. So, now I'm going to use an Arduino Nano. So I go to tools, board, select Arduino. And I'm going to select the Arduino Nano. If they use another Arduino, I simply select it. Alright. The processor of my Arduino Nano, we are going to put the processor here, is the 8 Mega 328P. And the port where it is connected, I have not connected it yet, I am going to connect it now. Ready, I connected it. The port where it is is port 10. It has just been placed automatically. I'm still going to select it again. And we have already selected our board and the port where it will communicate. The code is very simple. We are only going to show this text. What is it? Electro around the world OLED video tutorial. And we are going to read the analog signal from pin A0. And this analog signal from pin A0, we are going to show it on our OLED screen. With double text size. I'm going to show it practically in the middle of the screen. To upload the program, you only have to select the upload arrow. Let's select it. And it will start compiling the program. Once you verify that everything is correct. As we already know, everything is correct. The program will be uploaded automatically. There is. And ready. We have already uploaded our program. We already have the program uploaded. Now we can move on to making the connections. To do this I am going to disconnect it from the power. And I'm going to place it here on the breadboard with the connector facing outward. 
Let's put it there right. Let's see. It seems to me that I am there. Ready. This is how I am connecting it. I'm going to only use the pins that are in this row above. Or well, if I placed it like this it would be in the bottom row. But in my position they would be on the top row. So we place the breadboard here. And we are going to put our OLED screen here on the side. Let's see. I'm going to place it right here. So that it has space to connect it. At least two rows. Yes, it looks good there. Already. So now I'm going to connect the potentiometer facing outwards. This is how I'm going to connect it looking outside. That's it. I already have my Arduino Nano connected here. My OLED screen. And the potentiometer that I have connected one pin to 29. The other pin to 27. And the last pin to 25. So I'm going to grab the Arduino connection cables. Let's separate them. Let's see, I'm going to use these two colors. Let's see, I'm going to use these two colors. This one too. These two are going to be for the I-12 signal. This one for negative power and positive nutrition. And I'm going to reserve these three for the potentiometer. Then I'm going to start connecting. The positive voltage, which would be the VCC. There I am connecting. Look at the VCC. I'm connecting the orange wire. And I'm going to connect the other end here. At 3.3 volts. You can also connect it to 5 volts. Because it also works with 5 volts. But I'm going to connect it to 3.3 volts. The GND. We grab a brown wire. The GND. I'm also going to connect it to the GND. What would this be? The second pin. I connect it there. Let's see. Ready. There it is connected to the GND. Alright, there is. Now the SCL. It seems to me that this one goes to the pin. This goes to pin A4. If I'm not mistaken, I will verify. Anyway, I'm leaving you a little bored. So that you can see, if you are not using the Arduino Nano, and they are using the Arduino Mega. So they know which pins they have to connect to. The communication signal. The SCL. It is connected to pin A5. There is. The same would be true for the Arduino Nano. We have connected it there. The SCL. To pin A5. And the SDL. We're going to connect it. To pin A4. Here it is. The A4 pin, it is already connected. We already have our screen connected. Now we are going to connect our potentiometer. The two corners of the potentiometer. That is, the pins, 29 and 25. They will be for food. So, on pin 25 I am going to connect this brown cable. Let's see here it is, pin 25. I have connected the brown cable there, to one corner of the potentiometer, and I'm going to connect the red wire here, in the row of pin 29. Let's see. Ready. If you have a larger breadboard you can use it to make it more comfortable. Then to the middle. On pin number 27. In that row, I'm going to connect the orange cable that would be the signal. All right. There is. Ready. This is how our potentiometer is looking. So I'm going to connect the brown wire to the GND. I'm going to set it up here. Ready. It is already in the GND. I am going to connect the red wire to the 5 volts, which is here on the side, in row 12. There it is. Look. I am connecting the red wire to the 5 volts, as you can see there. So the last cable that will be the one in the middle, which is going to be the one with the signal. I'm going to connect it to the AC analog pin, which is going to be number 0, from our Arduino Nano. 
Just here. Ready. This is what our connections would be like. We would have everything ready to connect it to the power and test the operation. Let's see. I grab my cable and I'm going to accommodate it to connect it to my Arduino Nano. And as you can see, let's see. I'm going to adjust my camera a little. So you can see it very well. There it is. And as you can see, you can see the electro text around the world. OLED video tutorial. And the value of pin A0 right now is at 710, the maximum that will arrive at 1023. We are going to raise it to the maximum to see there. I am lowering it. There it is at 1023. And it is working perfectly. We see that we can correctly receive. And display the data on our OLED screen. Let's see now I am going to lower it to zero. Perfect. It has really very good communication. It is fast. And ready and good friends. That would be all in this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.